Hi, this video is on the probability distribution using tables. Um, so let's just get right into it. So here's my first table. Um, X is the number of books a person buys when they go into a bookstore. So here's a problem. You go into a bookstore. Um, X is the number of books a person buys when they go into a bookstore. And P is the probability uh, that you bought that many books. So if you go into a bookstore uh, and buy zero books, uh, the chances are if you go into a bookstore and buy zero books, its probability is 0.10. If you go in a bookstore and buy one book, the probability is 0 0.20. Once again, buy three, two books, 0.25. Buy three books, 0.25. And buy four books, it's 0 0.20. Okay, so if you add up all these probabilities, you get one. Okay, so now let's answer these questions using the table. What's the probability... Um, that you bought from one to three books. So we're not saying you're buying one book, uh, two books, or three books. You're just buying anywhere from one to three books. Um, the way to do this is find the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three. These are one to three books. So we're just going to add them all up. The probability of one book plus the probability of two books, plus the probability of three books. And if you add them all up, it's one book is 0 0.20, two books is 0.25, and three books is 0.25. So if you add these three up, you get 0 0.70. So the probability of walking into a bookstore and buying uh, from one to three books is 0 0.70. Okay. So now, sorry about erasing that. <laughs> I'm gonna just put the answer was point. Seven zero. We added one, two, and three, which is point two plus point two five plus point two five. So now, what's the probability of buying fewer than two books? So now we're going to buy fewer than two books. Well, two is not included in fewer than two. Fewer than two books is one or zero books. Those are fewer than two. 2 is not fewer. So we're looking for the probability of one book and the probability of zero book and adding them together. Fewer than two books is the probability of zero plus the probability of one. Probability of zero is 0 0.10. Probability of one is 0 0.20. And if you add them up, 0.1 and 0.2 is 0 0.30. Okay. What's the probability of two or less books? Now, we just said fewer than two books. For part C, it's asking part C. The problem asks probability of two or less so here two and then less so two is included in two or less fewer than two it's not for part b it wasn't uh, but part c two is included so we're doing the probability of two plus the probability of one plus the probability of zero and probability of two is 0.25 Probability of 1 is 0 0.20, and the probability of 0 is 0 0.10. Uh, 
this adds up to 0.55. Probability of two or less books is 0.55. And finally, what's the probability of more than two books? So now we're doing more than two. Well, when you're talking about more than two, three and four are more than two. Two is not included because it's asking for more than two. So we're only looking for the probability of three plus the probability of four. These are the books that are more than two. Probability of three is 0.25. Probability of four is 0 0.20. When you add them together, you get 0 0.45. All right, that's using a table, uh, finding the probabilities. Let's see what else we have. Um, we're going to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation now. Well, the mean, and I'm going to put a little, uh, little thing here saying the mean, you can also call it the expected value. So I want you to expected value. Sorry, it's really messy. So the mean is the expected value. The formula for the mean is take the x and multiply it times its probability. But what we're going to do is we're going to sum them all up. We're going to sum them all up. We're going to add them. Sum means we're going to add them all up. The symbol for summing them up looks kind of like this. So if, if you look in the book, by the way, if you look in the book on page 85 to 86, it's going to cover something very similar to this. Uh, if you look in the BSTAT book, uh, page 85 to 86, the BSTAT book, um, you'll see the symbol. This is the symbol for summing up uh, X times the probability. So we're going to take what we're doing is taking X uh, a 1 or x0 and multiplying it by its probability plus x1 and multiplying it by its probability plus x2 and multiplying its x2 multiplying by its probability. It's just so hard to write with this thing. Plus x3 and multiplying by its probability plus x4. I multiply the probability. So x0 is 0, right? <laughs> 0 for the x0 uh, times its probability is 0 0.1. Plus x1 is just 1 times its probability. The probability when x is 1 is 0 0.2. Plus when x is 3, the probability is 0.25 plus 4 times its probability is 0 0.2. Okay, so I'm going to put all this into my calculator, see what happens. 0 times 0 0.1 plus 1 times 0 0.2 plus 3 times 0 0.25. Oh, we're missing one. <laughs> we're missing one. Well, uh, we forgot to do plus 2 times 0.25. Okay, so we're just taking each number and we're just taking each number here and multiplying it by its probability. Multiplying it by a probability. And then we're going to add up the answers. We're going to sum them up. So I'm going to take 0 times 0 0.1 plus 1 times 0 0.2 plus 2 times 0 0.25 plus 3 times 0 0.25 plus 4 times 0 0.20. And you should get 2.25 as your mean, your average. So the mean equals 2.25. So if you didn't get that on your calculator, you need to work on that.
you need to type it into your calculator correctly. All right, so next we're going to do the variance. Variance is a little bit more difficult. Um, here's the formula for the variance. You have to take um, your x and you have to subtract your mean. Then you're going to square it and multiply by its probability. You're going to do that for 0, 1, for x, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In other words, we're going to do the same thing we did above. We're going to sum them all up. We're going to add them all up. X minus the mean squared times probability. That's, uh, we already found the mean. Do you see our mean is 2.25? Our mean, our, here's a symbol for mean uh, right there. Our average is 2.25. So here we go. Let me write this all down. First, we're going to take X0. Now we're going to subtract our mean. Our mean is 2.25. 0 minus 2.25. And then we're going to square it and multiply by our probability. The probability is 0.1. Then we're going to add the next x. 1, x1 minus the, the average, 2.25. Square it. And multiply by the probability. The probability is 0.2 for x1. Then we're going to add the next x. x is 2 minus 2.25. Square it and multiply uh, by the probability of 2, which is 0.25. Then we're going to add... The next one, which is 3 minus the average, 2.25, square it and multiply by its probability, 0.25. And finally, we're going to add 4 minus 2.25, square it and multiply by its probability of 0.2. Okay, so this is one, uh, one uh, calculator intense uh, problem here. Let's see if we can type this into our calculator correctly. I hit parentheses, 0 minus 2.25, close parentheses, raised to the second power, times 0 0.1, plus parentheses, 1 minus 2.25, close parentheses, raise it to the second power, times its probability, 0 0.2, plus parentheses 2 minus 2.25, close parentheses, raise it to the second power, times its parentheses, uh, probability, 0 0.25, plus parentheses 3 minus 2.25, close parentheses, raise to the second power, multiply by its probability, times 0.25, and finally, add the last one, parentheses, 4 minus 2.25, close parentheses, raise it to the second power, times 0.2, and I get 1.5875. This is my variance. By the way, the symbol for variance, I didn't show you this, but it's sigma squared. That's the, sig the symbol for variance. So variance equals 1.5875. All right. So standard deviation, the symbol for standard deviation is this without the squared. It's the sigma without the squared. Um, to, if we have... If we have the variance already, sigma squared, to find the standard deviation, which is just sigma, just take the square root of our variance. To find standard deviation, you just take the square root of variance. We know our variance was 1.5875. So let's take the square root of 1.5875 and I get I'm going to put it over here 
square root of 1.5875 equals 1.259, which is really 1.26. So this is our standard deviation. Standard deviation equals 1.26. To find the standard deviation, you just take the square root of the variance. And the last problem, uh, what is the expected value? And I just wanted to bring this up again because the expected value is the same thing earlier, is, is finding the, uh, the mean, uh, finding the average. And all we do is take and, and the expected value as the mean is just x times the probability and sum them all up. So if I take x0, multiply it by 0.1, then add it to 1, multiply by its probability, 0.2, then take 2, multiply by its probability, 0.25, then take 3, multiply its probability, 0.25, and then take 4, multiply it by its probability 0 0.20 we add that up that will be our expected value and I think we already got 2.25 but let me verify that 0 0.2 uh, 0 times uh, 0.1 plus 1 times 0 0.2 plus 2 times 0.25 Wait, that's not 0.25, that's 0 0.20. If you look at the probability of 2, it's 0.20. Plus 3 times 0.25, plus 4 times 0.25, plus, that's it. And I get 2.25. I feel like I'm missing one. No, two. Something didn't work out right here. See, this is two is 0.25. I'm looking at my probabilities. Let me try it again. Zero times 0.1 plus one times 0.2 plus two times 0.25 plus three times 0.25 plus four times 0.2. And I get the same thing I got before, 2.25. All right. That's it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to contact me. Hopefully everybody got anything else. If you need any calculator help, give me a, shoot me an email.